Hello and welcome to another Leak Code Solution video. This is problem number 11, container with the most water. This problem, we are given an integer array height of length n. There are n vertical lines drawn such that the two endpoints of the ith line are i comma zero and i comma height of i. Find two lines that together with the x-axis form a container such that the container contains the most water. Return the maximum amount of water a container can store. Notice that you may not slant the container. For example, one, they lay out the problem visually on a graph. Our input height array is 18625837 and our output is 49. This is because the height of our container is 7 because it's the minimum of our two heights and our width is also 7 because it's the right index minus the left index and 7 times 7 is 49. For example, two, our input height array is one comma one, and our output is one because our length will be one and our height will also be one. Let's go through an example. In this example, our height array will be two, five, three, six, seven, one. As we go through our array, we're going to want to keep track of two points, our left pointer and our right pointer. These will represent our two heights of our container. And as we calculate the area and move through our array, we will move our left pointer to the right and our right pointer to the left, depending on which is pointing to the smaller of our two heights. Our area will be equal to the minimum of our two heights times our right pointer index minus our left pointer index. So for our current two heights, our area will be equal to 1, which is the smaller of the two heights, times 5 minus 0, which equals 5. And as we go through this problem, we want to keep track of the max area we've seen so far. And since this is the only area we've seen, our max area will be equal to five. And now since our right pointer is pointing at the smaller of our two heights, we wanna move it to the left. And now our area will be two, the smaller of the two heights, times four minus zero, which equals eight. And now we wanna compare this area to the max area we've seen so far. So eight is greater than five, so we'll replace five with eight. And now since our left pointer is pointing at the smaller of the two heights, we'll move it up. And now our area is 5 times 4 minus 1, which equals 15. And 15 is greater than the max area we've seen so far, so we'll replace 8 with 15. And now since our left pointer is pointing at the smaller of the two heights, we'll move it up again. Our new area is now 3 times 4 minus 2, which equals 6. Comparing that to our max area, it is smaller, so we will not replace it. And our left pointer is pointing at the smaller of the two heights, so we'll move it up. Our new area is now six times four minus three, which is equal to six. Six is still smaller than 15, so we're leaving our max area as 15. And now since our left and right pointer are next to each other, we can stop there because if they were to overlap, our width of our container would be equal to zero. At that point, our areas would be zero. So at this point, we would output our max area of 15. Let's jump into the code. Let's start off by defining some variables. We have our left pointer, which is our starting pointer, and that'll start at zero. And then we have our right pointer, which is our end pointer, which will be equal to the length of our array minus one. Then we'll have our max area variable, which will be equal to zero. Now we can create our loop, which will loop until our left and our right pointers meet each other. We'll start off by calculating our area using the smaller of our two heights. Next, we want to compare our new area with our previously max area to see which is bigger and take that one. And now at this point, we want to move either our left or our right pointer, depending on which one is pointing at the smaller of the two heights. And now at this point, we're done with our loop, so we can just return our max area. And that's it for our code, so let's run this. All test case passed, so let's submit. Our solution was accepted, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, make sure to check out my channel. Thanks for watching.